What's up, my name's Technobah here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I've got a topic that's pretty interesting for you, especially if you like customizing windows to the max. So I did get a question about how I made my taskbar at the very bottom translucent, and by putting windows behind it, you can see through it. While that is built into Windows, I did come across a different project that seems rather interesting. That is this over here. It's an open source project called Translucent TV. What does it do? Well, it makes your taskbar translucent as such, so that the icons are just floating there with absolutely no blurry background and no color affecting your Windows background behind it. We have a couple of options here that are listed under features. We can make the taskbar blur, clear, normal Windows style, opaque, which isn't see-through at all, fluent, and a couple of dynamic modes. It'll change whether a window is maximized, whether the start menu is open, whether Cortana is open, or when the timeline or task view is open as well. We also have the ability to show or hide the arrow peak button, which is this far button in the bottom right here, that clicking it will show you your desktop, and clicking it again will show you all of your windows. Cool, so without further ado, how do we install it? Well, scrolling down, you'll see the download section over here. You can download the program freely on the Microsoft Store and take advantage of its features like background order updates and settings sync. However, you can also download it via the releases tab, which is what I'll be doing. I'll click this link over here and open it in a new tab. However, you can scroll up to the top and look for the releases section, then click the one with the latest tag next to it. That'll take you across to here, but you can simply click on the .exe, which will download the installer. I'll simply click on it to open it up. And before we actually get to installing, there is something I need to mention. When I had a look at the actual GitHub page over here, you can see that the latest update pushed four days ago was something to do with malware allegations. If we open this up in a new tab, you'll see that it's got a link over here to some info. Opening up the info, which will be down in the description as well, you can see issue number 350. Basically, someone on TikTok has been saying that it's malware or scamware because of this permissions window that shows up on the Microsoft App Store. They go through debunking it and how exactly they needed certain permissions for the app to work properly. Makes sense to me. And because it's open source, there's not much that they could be hiding that the community couldn't search through for themselves. You can also spot this capability or permissions in apps on the store like ShareX, Telegram, Spotify, iTunes, and a couple more. Scrolling down, there's an almost complete list of very popular programs that also require this permission in the Windows App Store. And of course, it's not complete. There's tens of thousands of more programs that need this permission to run properly. Cool, so now that we've gone through that and your worries about malware have been put aside, Let's go ahead and install it. I'll click next, I accept, next, choose an install location, next, and then finally install. Then with launch Translucent TV selected, I'll click finish. Now that it's done, we see this here. Welcome to Translucent TV. You can tweak the taskbar's appearance with the tray icon. And if it's your cup of tea, you can also edit the configuration files located at C users, your username, app data, Rome, Translucent TV. I agree, I click yes. And as you can see, my taskbar vanishes at the very bottom of my screen, leaving me with a perfectly see-through bar. Now, of course, it is actually still there. I can right click in it. And if it were unlocked, I can simply drag it around and you'll see it's coming along with me. So either right clicking or left clicking on this icon over here, we bring up the options menu. We can choose one of the styles up here, such as accent color, where we can pick an accent for it. Now we can choose normal, opaque, blur, and fluent. I'll be sticking with say clear. In the maximized window section, we can choose what happens when a window is maximized. I'll change it from say, whatever it is now to opaque, just as a very good example. Opening up this page over here and going full screen, you'll see that the bar at the very bottom turns a pitch black. We can change the color by right clicking, going to maximized window and changing the accent color. By default, it'll just be black, but we can change it to whatever we want in here and change the transparency by dragging the slider on the right hand side. Now, of course, it's not gonna work if I'm in opaque mode, which I currently am. I'll change it to blur. Now it's partly see-through, so I can change it exactly as I please. Then if we open it up again, we can choose what happens when the start bar is opened. If I hit start, the menu pops up and the style vanishes. Let's go ahead and edit that. Start menu, I'll change it to say clear. Hitting start, you can see it goes back to being clear. Now there's a bit of flashing that's going on, but I would assume that this would get better over time and hopefully it wouldn't be so noticeable on a lower frame rate screen. Otherwise, it is a little bit annoying. We can stop this happening by changing it away from blur to say the same sort of color. I'll leave it as fluent for all of these. 
Now, whenever we're changing between things, you can see it just works as usual with minimal flashing or anything funky going on because it's not having to change so often. Now, if I were to go ahead and look at the next section, we see show arrow peak. If we hover our mouse over the bottom right corner, you can see that the arrow peak button is now gone. How do we get it back? Well, going full screen is one of the ways to get it back. Pretty cool. Under advanced, we have a whole bunch of settings over here. We can click edit settings to bring up an advanced window over here where we can type in things ourselves. This is of course a bit more advanced. We can do everything up to disabling the tray icon so that it just works completely in the background without you even knowing that it's open. We can edit the blacklist to choose programs that the start bar won't be affected with. If you're going to be playing competitive games, it's a good idea to list them here. You only need to list part of the title, the exe name, which is case insensitive, or the window class name. So if we were to blacklist anything with CSGO in the title, I'd type in title, comma, space, CSGO. Saving it, you'll see that everything's working as expected. But if I open up a notepad file, save it as CSGO, you'll see nothing happens. But if we right click the icon, advanced, and then reload blacklist, you'll see that if I set maximized window to opaque, whenever I make this CSGO window full screen, such as a game with CSGO in the title, it won't change. But if I make any other window full screen, you can see the taskbar is affected. And unfortunately, I won't be able to show you this, but whenever I go full screen here, it doesn't affect the taskbars on my other screens. However, they are also translucent. If I make something full screen on one of those, it does change the start bar style as well. And then finally, we have the open on boot button. Clicking this will get the program to open whenever you start up your PC and give you this fresh, clean experience whenever you do. You can, of course, disable it here at any time. We also have a tips and tricks section that'll open up a wiki that we can see some tips in. This shows some info on exactly what I covered in this tutorial. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!